hi everyone you're welcome to my youtube channel the question now is that how do you fortify yourself against this how do you equip yourself to stand against all the wiles of the devil the most important tool is the word of god that's why the bible says in psalm 119 verse 9 and also 11 it says how can a young man cleanse his ways he said by taking heed to thy word verse 11 says thy word have i hid in my heart that i may not sin against thee verse 105 says thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path if you load your mind with the word of god it is the word of god that you will see if you load your mind with pornography it is pornography you will see if you load your mind with lustful things that is what you will see the Bible says we should guard our hearts for with all diligence for out of it are the issues of life so one sure way of keeping yourself pure and holy is by holding on to god's word guiding what you watch guiding what you see guiding where you go the bible says can a man put fire in his bosom and not be burnt no so you cannot say i am macho i am strong i can go to some places i can watch some things and i will not be moved that is not true as long as you have blood flowing through your veins you are human a man no matter how spiritually high you can fall but what many spiritual men do is to set guards over their life is to take precaution is to flee from all appearances of evil is to say no to every distraction and focus on god almighty because they know that if the spirit is down the flesh will take over but if the spirit is high the flesh cannot take over it is subdued so i want to encourage you sex is a beautiful thing but it must be within the confines of marriage the bible says it's appointed unto man to die once and after that judgment every one of us we give an account of the life we live here on earth so the sexual urges that we have cannot be fulfilled anyhow carelessly and in any way there is a guideline because god himself created sex god himself put that sexual urge in us so it is not wrong to have sexual urge but you must control yourself there must be self-discipline hebrews chapter 13 verse 4 says marriage is honorable among all and the bed undefiled but fornicators and adulterers god will judge this is the bible so every sexual urge every sexual desire must be fulfilled within the confines of marriage if we don't want god to judge us so it's so important that you guide your heart and god has given us all that pertains to life and godliness he has given us the grace to say no to sin to flee all appearances of evil so there is no excuse to fall into sin it then means that you can decide not to commit sin now one important thing that can give you the strength to make that decision is when your life is sold out to jesus if you are a man or a woman who has not given his life to jesus christ you will be struggling you say i do not want to i just found myself doing it that is because the spirit of god is not living inside them yet now once they have given their life to jesus and they have totally surrendered totally surrendered their life to jesus they are a new creature whatever has happened in the past is past they have a new page with jesus they have a new clean slate with jesus and so once they start walking with jesus asking jesus for grace to live a righteous life to flee all appearances of evil that grace is sufficient now like i said you cannot be asking for grace and asking for guidance and then be doing other things no you must flee all appearances of evil and stay focused on jesus praise the name of the lord see you in my next video